Hey guys, Brandon Lewis with Painters Weekly and Painters Academy here. We work exclusively building painting contractor websites. So after you have built dozens and dozens of them, you begin to gather information about how people think a website should be built. And just as in my experience with the traditional side, of sales, marketing, operations, hiring, recruitment, etc. There are a lot of misconceptions out there. Well, there are a lot of misconceptions as it relates to digital marketing, in particular getting found with SEO tactics in your local market in the three pack and on the first page of the search results below the three pack or the SERP. So we're not going to talk about domain authority, page authority, backlinks, and do a very broad overview. I want to focus on one specific aspect of having your painting website found online, and that is content creation. Most of the time, people want to build their websites, number one, with very scant content, not a lot of words, lots of pretty pictures, um, so the thing never gets found because Google really likes content. That's you, reading the words is primarily how it understands what this page or this website is about. So people try to build out pages and structure their website trying to be all things to all people and they end up being nobody to no one. Let me explain. If you can see these three fish behind me, different fish like different type of bait, right? If you've ever been a fishing enthusiast or even had a period in your life where you fish, you understand that the hooks and the bait that you use for small brim are not like the hooks and the bait that you use for bass are not like the hooks and the bait that you would use to catch a very large bottom feeding catfish. Different hooks, different bait, different fish. We try to catch all the fish with the same bait and the same hook and it doesn't work out very well. So let's talk specifically about content creation and what you need to think about as you create individual pages. Here's my first tip for you. Every page that you create on your website, whether it's a blog post or a standalone page, needs to be a specific hook for a specific fish. Let me explain. Let's say that this fish is cabinet painting in Chattanooga, Tennessee. And let's say that this fish is industrial painters in Hamilton County, Tennessee. And let's say that this fish is deck staining Signal Mountain, Tennessee, okay? What we don't want to do is to create a page with a little bit of lead in and then my bullet point list of everything we do and to have four or five of those types of pages because these fish will not ever find you because there's not enough content there for that particular search term. And they'll get there and there might be like a word or two about industrial painting or cabinet staining or painting or uh, deck staining. There might be a word or two or a bullet or two, but there's not enough content on the page even for the search engine or for a human to go, wow, this is something they really know about. So instead of trying to commingle all that stuff and be cheap about your content, you need to write an entire page that is about... Um, cabinet painting in Chattanooga, Tennessee. There needs to be a picture that's labeled cabinet painting and it needs to have all of the markups in there. You need to have keywords in there that are about cabinets and painting and staining, cabinet doors and cabinet drawers and things that you think might be relevant. Perhaps you even have a video in there where you explain a little bit about it, put it on the page, link it back. Then with all of the markups that you do there, you wanna put your citations and everything in there. And you really want to have about 500 to 800 words of content specifically about this. Same thing with industrial painting, same thing with deck staining. And there are, you know, two elements, right? There's the search term, right? Which is really in one of two categories, either the service you provide or the name of you as a service provider. You know, uh, industrial painters is different than industrial painting, or it could be um, apartment painting, that's a bad market, forgive me for even mentioning it, uh, or it could be a strip center painting or uh, hospital painters, all that stuff, the search terms, and then you also want your geo modifier 
where is it that you're wanting to be found for that particular term? And you build out the page. Now, what you will want to do is to go real cheap on your content and to try to spread a little bit of content over a handful of pages and hope you get found. Well, it's just not enough information for the search engines to find you. So if you need assistance with this, if you have questions, feel free to email me, brandon at paintersacademy.com, especially if you've got a very beautiful website that nobody finds and it's not generating the leads that you want, we can help you with that. Uh, but if you're doing it on your own or if you're even having someone else do it, make sure that you spend the time and money to create the content because you need different hooks for different fish and every hook is gonna catch a certain type of fish. Don't try to be all things to all people. In the end, you'll end up being nobody to no one. Brandon Lewis of Painters Academy and Painters Weekly saying go out there and invest in your online digital real estate and get found. Take care.